Welcome to LoadMac Essentials, a series of videos which cover some of the fundamental information when it comes to the correct operation and maintenance of your LoadMac truck mounted forklift. In this video, we are going to look at some of the controls and best practices when operating your LoadMac. Firstly, when you mount the machine, remember to ensure three points of contact fastening your seatbelt and putting the sidearm down before starting. Before starting the engine, ensure your hands and feet are off all controls. Turn the key to the first position to energize. If cold and glow plugs are needed, turn the key to position 2 and hold. The glow plug light on the dashboard will be lit. To start the engine, turn the key to position 3 and release when the engine starts. Let's start by familiarizing ourselves with the operator controls. The drive pedal, forwards to move forwards and backwards to reverse. Throttle pedal, push down to increase engine revs. Hydraulic levers, lift, lower, main mast reach out, main mast reach in. For integrated second reach out, press and hold the button and push forwards. To retract integrated second reach, press and hold the button and pull back. Tilt, down and back. Side shift to right and to left and stabilizers down and up. Electrical switches park brake released and engaged. Note the park brake is automatically engaged if you are not sat in the seat. Differential lock on and off. Horn. Upper work lights, front and rear on and off. Front low level work lights on and off. Indicators left and right. Rear fog light if fitted, on and off. If the multi-directional steering or four-way option is fitted, the switch on the right activates steering mode. When multi-directional steering is on, the semi-auto switch moves wheels into multi-directional steering position and back into standard steering position. And there we have it, some guidance and advice on how best to operate your LoadMap truck-mounted forklift. 